Hey, so I wanted to take a quick second to make a video from one of the homework questions. I've gotten a few um, a few questions from you guys. So this one says that you are drawing a ball out of box one, so out of this, and you're putting it in box two, and then you're drawing a ball out of box two, you're putting it in box three, and then you're drawing a ball in box three, and then that ball is recorded. And so um, this is a multi-stage experiment because I'm doing one, two, three events. I'm drawing from here, then drawing from here, then drawing from here. And so the questions specifically say, find the probability that the last ball from box three is white, and then find the probability that the last ball drawn is black. So to probably the easiest way to go about this is to make a tree diagram with all the probabilities and then use that tree diagram to find these two specific probabilities. So I went ahead and made the tree diagram itself um, just for sake of time. So here I'm starting. On my first draw, I can either draw a white or a black ball. On my second draw, I can either draw white or black. And on the third draw from box three, white or black. So you can see I've kind of tried to label off to the left over here that this is box one, this is what's coming out of box two, this is what's coming out of box three. So I went and I copied down again the problem just so we wouldn't have to keep flipping back and forth. So now we're going to use this, the actual balls in the box, and we're going to convert that into probabilities. Now this is a little more complicated because I'm taking one ball out of one box and I'm putting it into the other box. So let's first just start with the first line. So I draw, it's either white or black. Well in box one, the probability of a white ball is going to be the four out of a total of six. So the probability of white is four out of six. Now definitely reduce that down. Oops. Four out of six or two out of three. Now because we're just looking at the in probabilities it doesn't particularly matter about reducing but on the test if I were to ask you for the tree diagram I want to see the uh, reduced one. I would like to see both but specifically the reduced one. So there's the probability of drawing a white ball essentially out of box one. The probability of drawing a black ball out of box one is going to be two out of the total of six, which is going to give me one out of three. Okay, so there's my first two probabilities. Now here's where it gets a little difficult. I am assuming, so I'm going to do this side first. I'm assuming that I've drawn a white ball. So what that means, and I'll just have to do gray, I'm assuming that when I drew a ball out of box one, it was white. And so I have put that extra white ball into box two. So now in box two, I had three white and four black, but because of this tree diagram, I've assumed that the one I drew out was white. So this ball is now in box two. So the probability of drawing a white ball in box two now is four, because I added one in there, I put in a white ball, four out of the total of eight. So the probability of a white ball in box two is going to be four out of eight or one half. The probability of drawing a black ball out of box two, now I'm still under the assumption that I drew out a white ball and it's now in box two. So the probability of drawing a black ball out of box two is going to be four out of the total of eight because I still have that white ball in there from the first draw. Or one half, okay? So now I'm going to go over to the other side. So now I'm assuming, so I'm going down this side, I'm assuming now that out of box one, I drew 
a black ball. And so coming out of box one, I drew a black ball. So now I've put that into box two. So where I used to have four black balls, I now have five because that one I drew out of box one has been dropped into box two. So the probability of black, so I'm right here, the probability of drawing this black is going to be five out of the total of eight. And then the probability of drawing white is going to be three out of the total of eight. Okay, so that takes care of box two. So now in this next line, so all right here, I'm now assuming that I'm drawing out of box two and putting into box three. So now I've assumed that I've drawn out a white ball from box two and I have put in a white ball to box three. So I've drawn out a white ball and I've put in a white ball. And so the probability of drawing white out of box three, so I'm right over here, the probability of drawing white out of box three is going to be four out of four. Or one. The probability of drawing a black ball out of box three is going to be zero out of four or zero. Okay, I'm going over to the next side. So the next one says, well, before we drew a white ball, now this one says, well, assume you're going to draw a black ball out of box two and put it into box three. So assume you're drawing a black ball out of box two and putting it into box three. And so the probability is going, the probability of white is going to be three, there's three white balls out of a total of four, because I just put in an extra. The probability of drawing a black ball out of box three is going to be one, because I have that one ball I just dropped in out of a total of four. Okay, and then those. The next one, so now I am going this way. So now this is assuming I drew a white ball out of box two and I dropped it into box three. Oops, a white ball. So I pulled out a white ball of box two and I'm dropping it in to box three. So the probability of white in that box is going to be four out of four or one. The probability of black is going to be zero out of four or zero. Okay, so now I'm assuming that I drew a black ball out of box two. And I'm going to drop it in to box three. So the probability of drawing a white ball out of that box is going to be three out of four and the probability of drawing a black ball is now one out of four. So there's my factor tree. <clears throat> it's a lot of stuff happening. Now the question said, let's go back up to the top, find the probability that the last ball from box three is white. So let's look at my factor tree. The probability that the last ball is white is going to come from this tree, this tree, this tree, or that tree. So what you're going to do is go through, I'm sorry, I should have extended these further. Let me redraw these. 
this tree this tree that one and that one so you're going to look that the last ball is white which came from all of those so what you're going to go through and just for sake of time I'm not going to do them all you're going to go through and multiply on every tree branch so for this first one the probability of white 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 would be two-thirds times one-half times one that would be one one probability then you're going to do the same thing for this branch multiply all of those and then you're going to do everything multiply those multiply those because it's looking for white or white or white or white you are going to then add all of these individual probabilities and that is the probability that the last ball is white for the next one let me take all this off for the next one, find the probability that the last ball drawn is black is going to be all the other ones. And so that will be that, 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 and that. Now the cool thing about this is because it can either be white or black, when you add these two probabilities, once you get the final probabilities, you should get one because that covers all of the scenarios. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you still have questions, of course, let me know and uh, I wish you luck.